This is a video about uh, ultrasonic, ultrasonic wrinkle cleaning. cleaning. I'm going to run through the formula that I use. Um, we're going to record a dirty record and then record a cleaned record and compare the two to see if it actually makes a difference. So this is the formula that I found on the internet. I don't know if it's the best formula, but this is the one I'm using at the moment. You use distilled water and then you add some isopropyl alcohol at 1%. So if you were using eight liters of water, you would use 80 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. So I pour that in. And this here is Triton X, which is a really mild detergent. I got it from conservationsupplies.co.nz, but if you're in another country, you would have lots of places to find it from, I'm sure. So I pour the Triton X in, straight into the alcohol. If I have eight liters of distilled water, I'll use 0.1% of Triton X. So that's about eight milliliters of Triton X. So I stir that all in because it doesn't really dissolve that well if you put it straight into water. So I just I dissolve it into the alcohol first and then I pour that mixture into the distilled water. You gotta heat the water and I've got a little thermometer here. I turn that on. And this will, I set it so it beeps when it gets close. I don't heat it up to 40 degrees Celsius. It's just when it gets close to that, it starts beeping. So I go over and turn it off. You can heat it up to about 31 to 34 degrees. So when you turn it on, you can see the ultrasonic vibrations and they create waves in the water and some other strange patterns. Uh, here's my thumb. <laughs> I thought it was clean, but if you dip it into the water, you can see the oils dissolving off into the water like smoke. Here's the record that I'm going to attempt to clean. You put it onto the spindle, and you put the, I don't know what this is, little spacer on top, and screw it down so it can't move. And that should stop water getting into the label. It doesn't really stop it, but it does something. This is uh, the state of the record before it's been cleaned. And it's pretty dirty. It's not the dirtiest, but it sounds pretty shit. So you lower it down into the water and turn on the motor. Uh, this motor spins quite quickly. I've seen ones that only spin like once a minute or so. All right, so I'm going to set the machine for 15 minutes, turn it on, and it's going to start cleaning. The ultrasonic uh, waves, they create cavitation in the water, which uh, apparently uh, maybe like micro bubbles and they explode next to the surface. Um, if you want to really know how it works, look at Wikipedia or something. But you can see that it creates these crazy little electric spiders in the water and uh, standing waves. And these really only show up when the water is really clean. They must be there when uh, the water is dirty, but you just can't see them as clearly. So normally I would use a brush and just dip the record into the water and just give it a little bit of a brush around uh, to loosen up the dirt. But because I'm only doing one record this time, I can just do it while it's spinning. Uh, you can fit up to five records on the spindle. You can see steam rising off this, but that's only because it's bitterly cold winter in New Zealand and normally it doesn't steam. So after 15 minutes are up, uh, the machine turns itself off. Now, I pour some more uh, distilled water onto it uh, just to rinse off any detergent or alcohol that's left on there. And I just spin it around and push all that water off with a brush. Now you'll see some water has actually got underneath this label protector, but I've never noticed it to actually stain the label or cause it to wrinkle or anything like that. So it's not a big deal. So I flip it over and I uh, rinse the other side as well. And then I place it into this rack for drying. And here's a close up of uh, the record after it's been cleaned. We should test it out and see if it's actually made a difference. I'm running this through a Yamaha P350 record player and the cartridge is the Nagaoka MP110. 
Then it goes into this ship Manny uh, preamp and out of there into this Yamaha AS801 amp and out of the amp and into this Zoom H5 recorder. So it's recording at CD quality, so it's 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz uh, as a wave. And I've recorded before and after, so here's what it sounds like. The water on the left there is unused and the water on the right has cleaned about 40 records so you can see how yellow and gross it gets. Alright so that's the method that I use. I'd be interested in if anyone has uh, another formula to try. As long as it doesn't damage the record, as long as it's uh, pretty gentle I'm, I'm keen to try it. And maybe this has uh, helped you decide if it's worth trying out an ultrasonic record cleaner for yourself.